Hey guys, KRXV here, and welcome to part 2 of my review of the FMCS Deluxe Jutoso Bun, Conrad Forza Base Set, and Module Complete Set from Conrad Forza. So, where we left off, I just took a look at the first three modules, ending off with module number 20. So, let's get back into it with number 21, the Stealth Module. So, this is done in a dark purple color, a kind of a bluish purple color. And it, you can see it's kind of designed like a stealth bomber. Got some nice molded details with a little bit of silver. And the interesting thing about the cross design here is that you got part of it here and part of it down here. This goes onto the right leg, like so. And it's because of this module that there was a clear Forza figure released with the modules not released with FMCS figures so as to imitate what this does which is turn Forza invisible it goes right back into place All right next to it is number 22 the hammer module So here it is, and obviously it's a big hammer. And though the hammer is round in design, what you what should you be what you should be noticing is that it's got this square. Uh, well, it's got this square port. Though it's still got nice detail with all these rings with little nubs on them, painted in silver. And of course, this can be used by force to whack into things like. It will be used to slam into the ground and create shock waves. So this attaches to the left arm, like so. And the fist goes nicely in there. Of course, it can pose with it. And it goes right back onto there. So next we have number 23, the wire module. Got a nice wiry light blue color. You can see it's a giant it's a giant faucet. Though it has some nice details to it. It's getting painted black and you've even got this wire tank here on the side. So though the spout, which is kind of triangular in shape, doesn't turn, you can rotate the actual faucet. Or well I mean the handle. And this can be used to spray high pressure water as his opponents. So this goes on to the left leg. Like so. And Forza can be posed with it. Putting that right back into place. We got up here for number 24, the medical module. So we've got this in a pale yellow color. In a square shape with a medical cross on it. Got some nice details and this little red part here. It opens up to reveal this display, this display here for stuff like life signs and vitals. Well, you've got all these, all this medical equipment here painted in silver to be used for healing injuries caused by cosmic energy. So it just slides onto the right arm, the left arm. Yeah, like that. And it goes right back onto place. And if you want, you can display it with the uh, module open. Let's see. Then you come down here, number 25, the pen module. It 
done in a different gray than camera, which is actually supposed to be silver. But you got here. And its name pen is rather a misnomer because it's actually a big calligraphy brush. So I've got crosses on here. Some nice molded in black details. Some molded details painted in black. Got the white brush with a little bit of black at the end for ink. And I can use this to draw characters that turn into solid metal. You got it like that. Goes on the right leg like that. Then goes right back into place. Like so. So then right behind Forza, we have number 26, the wheel module. So you've got these two wheels. And it's in this very light blue color. Got all these triangles on the wheels. And this triangle port here. And some nice painted in black and silver details. And the wheels spin nice and freely. So this goes on to the left leg like so. Once again using a foot rest. So once again, this is good for playing. If you wheel for it around. Then it attaches back on. This you have number 27, the screw module. And you got it here, which is this reddish orange corkscrew propeller. You can spin this propeller part here. Got a triangle part here. Once again, painted in black details. And so this goes onto the left leg, like so. And Forza, you'd have Forza and swimming poses here because this is used mainly for going through water fast. Then goes right back into place. As you come to number 28, the hand module. A kind of a periwinkle color. This is a kind of a powderish purple. You can see that it's similar to the Magic Hand module, but with a different joint structure. And bend here, twist here, bend here, twist here, bend here, twist here, and has two finger joints with hand molded in the same style as for his actual hands. This is going to add as a third, this basically acts as a third arm. And also add punch to his kicks. So, goes on to the right leg like so, has the cross design here. <laughs> and you can pose the hand and arm however you want. And then goes right back into place. <coughs> Next you have number 29, the Scott module.
So I've got here in a green color that's darker than parachute but lighter than spike. <coughs> and see here it's this big shovel and scop is the Dutch word for shovel or spade. Though it really makes you wonder why they just didn't call it the shovel module. But it is what it is. Got the circular part here. And of course this can be used to you know, scoop up and dig things. <coughs> so it goes right onto the right arm. <coughs> Just like so. And once again the hand fits in there. So you can pose for it with it. Then put it back in place. And then we can get to these two up here, which have been rattling around the whole time. Number 30 and 31, the N magnet can and S magnet can, which, to com which combine to become the magnet module, aka the NS magnet can. Or NS magnet cannon. So you've got N magnet cannon in red, S magnet cannon in blue. And they combine together to make this big horseshoe magnet, which can fire mag magnetic blasts. We've got a little bit of yellow in here. Got some nice molding detail. And these two cancel it apart and be used with the Forza Magnet State figure. To do that, you have to fold in these parts here. And according to instructions, Forza can hold it, but that's a little bit tricky to pull off. Mainly because these don't lend themselves too well to being held. <laughs> I'll see if I can manage something. The chances of that are rather slim. And see, it doesn't really grip these too well. So I'm not going to waste more time just trying something that is really difficult. So as far as these go, they look nice. They're not too much different from the ones on the magnet stage figure, so it's mostly just for display. <coughs> Though if you had a stand, you could... If you had a stand of some kind, you could probably have it hooked onto this to have it kind of flowing in midair. <coughs> So coming down here, <coughs> we have number 32, the freeze module. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got here, in this kind of uh, really light gray color. Got a cross symbol on the side, and the thing about this is that it opens up to show that it's a little ice box. With a color craze and some also some kind of ice craser vents in here. Got a nice blue finish on here, which looks pretty, which does look good. So this one goes onto the right leg, just like so. They're gonna open up and send out blasts of cold air. Then goes right back on, just like so. Coming up here, we have number 33, the claw module. So I've got here, got a nice violet color to it, got these three claws little circle part here with 
a design of three sideways kind of lines to represent the claws. And of course, this is an attacking module can used to slash at opponents. And though you have this metal pin here, this isn't actually a joint. So don't try moving this around, or you'll probably just warp it, or maybe even break it. So this goes on to the right hand, or right arm. Just like so. And goes right back on like that. Then you come down here to number 34, the board module. And where Magic Hand was the biggest arm module, board is the biggest leg module. This big snowboard, which is this big snowboard with an ankle brace to it. And you've got this triangular shaped port here. And this can be rotated and swivel around. And interestingly, this is not a completely new plastic color than the original, which was in a kind of an orange color. This is kind of an, well, is a more yellow color. It is kind of a dirty orangish yellow. So like this, you can have Forza right on it. And it becomes an all-terrain board, even though it's designed like a snowboard. So then you can put it right back on. Just have to get it in place. And so right next to it, we have number 35, the giant foot module. So they've got it in a dark red or a kind of a maroon color. You got all these nice, you got all these nice painted in lines. You also got some gunmetal gray and some silver to it. A uh, cross shape right here. And the nice thing about this design is that it's actually kind of designed like a big astronaut boot, which goes along with Forze's theme. It can also swivel here like this. And this one attaches to the right leg. To this, you open up this hatch in the bottom, fold down the foot. Slide it on, fold the foot in, and then close up the panel. So now Forza can make big stomps that create a giant illusionary foot. That also creates gravity distortion. And so then that goes right back on. Just like so. And you have number 36, the arrow module, which is right here. And they kind of have a powdery blue color. You got nice molding detail, painted in black and with a little bit of silver detail. It's got these four triangular, triangular kind, of, uh, kind of jets of sorts. And this can be used to suck in and blow out bursts of air. So it attaches to the right leg, I mean left leg. Just like so, for you can pose Forza with it. Then put it back right back into place. Right below it we have number thirty seven, the gyro module. Which is this big helicopter rotor. It's got a nice mint green color to it. Got this square port right here. Once again, nice painted in black details. Some nice silver detail too. 
Roach spins freely. And with this force, it can hover around, hover around with precision. So it attaches to the left arm. And you can spin it around quite freely. And the rotor blades are flexible, so they're not likely to break. Next we have number 38, the net module, over here. So it's in a very light pink color with this net here, which is in gray with a lot of molded, a lot of painted in black details. It's got more details painted in black and a nice cross design here. This one goes on to the right leg, just like so. Then this folds over the foot. Then if we're just going to swing this around and create a laser net for catching opponents. So that just detaches. Holds back up. And can go back on here. And also, the net can be swiveled around. Then you have number 39, the stamper module. It's got here in a brown color, and this is the only one that has a brown as the color. So it's nice, big, and bulky. Got kind of an up -down tri upside down triangular, triangle symbol. Got some silver pistons to it. Molded in details, painted in black. And down here we have the Conrad Club logo. Reversed because it's a stamp. So, uh, the pistons work on actual springs, which is nice. And in the show this can create explosive stamps. Though in real life, you'd probably, as you can see, with the details raised up like this, you'd probably use this as an actual stamp, which is a nice feature. So this goes on to the left leg, once again using a footrest. And so you can use it like so, with a nice strong string, strong, strong springs for the pistons. So then putting that back into place. Finally, we come to number 40, the Cosmic Module, aka the Bodies and Sword, which you got here in both, in both Boost Mode and Slash Mode. So in Boost Mode, you can see that it's modeled after a rocket ship. Got, nice, got a lot of nice detailing to it. Got a light blue color with some painted black details, the trigger painted red. These three black rocket boosters. Nice white, silver, red, and gold. And it got this handle here in the up position. Then you come to slash mode, where the shell parts have been folded down to reveal this blade has been extended out with this red part. Once again, a lot of nice mold in detail that's painted in black. Nice mullet in detail for the wing, inside of the wings. And you notice in boost mode it's got a kind of a cylindrical design. So this is for the right arm. And in slash mode the handle is down. This represents the mode changing as this lever is what's used to change between the modes. So for either one, you can simply put in the right hand, and for as it can attack with it, 
even being able to use other switches with it to give it special abilities like adding electrical powers with the elect switch or fire powers with the fire switch. And of course these are compatible with the Cosmic State figure which is a little bit better suited because it can use its articulation which just so you know the Cosmic State figure has double jointed elbows it can use that to hold on to both handles for certain poses. So, setting that back into place. And like the Elec and Fire modules and the Magnet module, these just rest in place and don't lock into place. And so with that, you've got the entirety of the set. Now I just moved back out so that you can get a look at everything once again. So this is a great set, but it's something that's a little bit difficult to get. It's something that obviously be a little bit difficult for some people to get their hands on. And it's a little bit on the pricey side as the basic retail was, well, its original price is at a yen cost that's over $200. So this says basically for people who are really into the Forza Module Chain series like I am and want the best quality modules. And the great thing is that while these are, you know, high quality painted, they're still great for playing with, which is why I like. And this gives you a couple of options for getting the modules. You can either buy the figures and get their modules and then get the set that comes with the clear Forza figure, or you can get however many figures you want and still be able to get this. Which is a, it's a really nice set. I really like all the detail and paintwork that was put into this and I'm glad that I got this. It's really just a nice high quality set and obviously you can you'll be able to get all of these modules with the as a figure arts versions but I just feel that like I've said in the past, I'm just not really fond of how SH Figures is distributing modules compared to the Forza Module Chain series. So, really, it's a matter of preference. If you've been collecting the Forza Module Chain series and haven't yet gotten the SP set that comes with the clear Forza figure, and if you want the best quality modules for your figures, then I'd absolutely recommend this. If you can't afford this, then just you can go ahead and get the SP set because it includes the modules that you don't get with figures. And while they're not in the same high quality paint job as these, they still function the same way. So with this, this is, you know, for people who, like I said, this is for people who are really into the 4D module chain series. And it's certainly a great set, especially with the module hanger. I mean, I think the module hanger is something that really makes the set worth it because with this you have a storage space for every single module so you don't have to have them lying around in, su in a f any kind of state of disarray. You can just have them nice and organized like this and so you can take them off the shelf put them on the figure and when you're done you can just put them back so definitely recommend it if you're really into the FMCS line but there are alternatives to this I'm just glad to be able to have done this and be able to review it because it's definitely a great set and if you can get it and you really want to get it then I would definitely recommend it so thanks for watching please rate, comment, subscribe and check out my channel for more videos and for now this is KRX50 Riding off.